Hi, welcome to our video series on the Ion Science Tiger XT. In this video, we will go over a basic overview of your Tiger XT instrument, including key features such as buttons on the keypad, a quick start setup guide, how to charge your Tiger XT instrument, checking that the Tiger XT is charging, and key status icons for your instrument. In the first section, we'll go through some basic buttons that are available on the Tiger XT keypad. On the keypad, you'll find the A and B soft keys. These change the functionality depending on what's shown on the display screen. Next up, we have the up, down, escape, and power or enter soft keys. The escape button helps you exit menus or cancel changes. The last button available on the Tiger XT keypad is the on off or enter key. This button is used to accept changes, select functions, and turn the Tiger XT on and off. In general, the A and B keys and the arrow keys are used for selecting and adjusting settings, and you'll confirm your choices by pressing enter. In the next section, we'll go through a basic start guide for the Ion Science Tiger XT. To turn on the Ion Science Tiger XT, simply press the enter key once. The screen will either display the Ion Science or AirMet scientific logo, your instrument ID, and the firmware version. The lights will flash white, red, and amber. You'll hear a beep, followed by the pump starting up. Next you'll see that the instrument is checking the lamp, and if it's set to zero upon startup, the appropriate symbol will be displayed. To power the unit off, press and hold the enter or power key for three seconds. A countdown will appear followed by continuous beeping and flashing lights. Once the instrument is switched off, wait for a few seconds before turning the Tiger XT on again. To charge your Tiger XT, connect the charging cradle to the mains power. Place your Tiger XT in the cradle, aligning the contacts with the pins on the device. A red light on the charger means the charger is ready. The LED color will indicate the charging status. Red means power is connected, but the device is not charging. Amber means the device is charging. And green means the device is fully charged. Check that your Tiger XT has sufficient charge before use. The battery icon should show at least two full segments. If not, the instrument should be charged to at least this level before use. In the next section, we'll review the key status icons on the display for your Tiger XT. In the lower corners, you'll see the soft key indicators showing what the A and B keys are currently assigned to. The middle of the screen displays the measurement units and the current gas the instrument is detecting. Memory status. If your Tiger XT has the data logging upgrade, you'll see the memory status icon that fills up as the memory is used. There are four bars that indicate how full the memory is. This current status shows the memory log is 25% full. The icon will flash when multi-logging is activated as shown here. Battery status. The battery status icon shows the remaining charge, and when nearly empty, the final segment of the icon will flash for one minute before the instrument shuts down. The alarm bell icon. This is located to the right of the volume icon. In this case, since there is no isobutylene detected, the alarm bell icon is off. When a low alarm is triggered, the bell symbol has one curved line on either side and will flash. When a high alarm is triggered, the bell symbol and two of the curved lines either side of the bell symbol will flash. Thank you for watching our video on an overview for your Tiger XT instrument. We hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to your local AirMet office on 1-800-000-744.